What I see is uh, the specialty of print is that you can touch it and it has to be a high level product regarding what you put on it. The company was founded in 1906. We were downtown Stuttgart together with all the other printers in that area and uh, we uh, started with the steam engine at the beginning. It was my great-grandfather and uh, he founded the company as uh, Stuttgarter Gummier und Plakieranstalt. That means at this time they focused their business only on putting moisture coatings for gluing paper together and uh, spir spiritus coatings, that's uh, ethanol coatings, to, to save the printing inks on the sheets. That's where they started with. Everything was done by hand, even the sheets were not dried in a dryer. They, they laid it out and waited until it's dried. So it was really bare handwork, craftsmanship. We are here, up here now, outside of Stuttgart, right on the, on the highway side and the airport. We, we moved 58 and it took us uh, two years to move all out of uh, Stuttgart because we had to keep on with the production and then we enlarged the building time by time. So we, we had the same set like the industry, the jobs got, uh, become larger, the machine becomes bigger and longer because on our machine the dryers are the big part of the volume of the machine. So we have quite long machines, you saw it when you went to the company. Yeah, I joined the business already when I was young, so I've been here uh, as a small boy already with my father and helped him in the holidays. That was my first experience here with the company and after school I decided uh, to make an apprenticeship in, also as a printer. So I went to another company in my apprenticeship and it was good, uh, I liked it and afterwards I decided yeah, to, to, to study in that business. So I studied uh, print and publishing here at HDM at the university and it was good. Everything that's printed on sheets are real and which is on paper or plastic and needs a special finishing is what we get into our house. We serve mainly as, as a product market, we serve packaging, we serve commercial printing and we also have industrial clients with special coatings and special laminations. Well, everything uh, which is glossy at the moment is uh, not environmental friendly. Maybe that's the feeling some people have. What we do a lot is uh, we put uh, effect coatings on natural paper, high-raise coatings. That's a, a, a market which is becoming more and more, especially on very open paper or paper that's based on, on other material like grass or whatever. Then we have the scratch resistant surface for the longer usage. So you, the regular matte film is not so good in the he's mechanically okay but if you use it you see that it's a used product very fast so the scratch resistant films are really mainly more than more than 80 percent of what we do yeah this this changed a lot into direction even though they are more expensive Uh, as you know, the printers are able to do already inline coating, uh, even inline processing of special things. So everything that's on top of this, if it's a product that needs a special touch or you need a special structure or you need a high raised coating, that's uh, regarding the effects of the product, which you have by eye or by feeling. And uh, the other thing is if somebody needs to last for longer time. So you have a product that's used for years or you have mechanical parts which have to be stable for long lasting usage. Then you, you need a film, for example, to put it on. Or even it's a functional thing like a sealing coating, that's uh, like a blister packaging coating or blistering paper to paper. And also what's coming up more and more is uh, products that uh, need a barrier coating to save plastic products like two component products with plastic or paper mixed. So you add a special coating on it. There we have uh, also equipment to do this in line with two coatings in one run.
Valborger is uh, the only manufacturer of coatings and glues which offers us the full range of products which we can use. So we have Valborger glue on the laminators to have a high bond lamination, high quality lamination with a two component system. Uh, then we have the UV series starting from flexo application onto screen where you have I can't tell you the number, but it's maybe 60 to 70 different coating types for different effects, if it's uh, with structure or it's with, with, with glitter or whatever. And uh, then we have the water-based series, that's where we work with, uh, with the soft touch usually and all the kind of sealing coatings and barrier coatings, they're all water-based. And that's also the series we do foot contact products too in our house. Well, I would say it's already friendship. Arno and Günther, I know them now since I started the business and uh, we grew up together almost yeah, in parallel and uh, everybody improved in, in their business and in their skills. Another thing is Weilburger is a company where you always ha have somebody to talk to which is competent in what he's doing. So you have technical guys that can help you on the machine bringing new products to the machine. We also test with Wellburger new products on the different machine types, screen or flex or whatever. And then you also have the laboratory if there are any problems in the combination of ink, primers, bonding problems or whatever. Even digital inks are a problem for us in, in, the, in the finishing business. So they have a good laboratory. And the other thing is the documentation nowadays. You need to have products where there is not too much trouble in using them, which can harm the environment or the guy on the machine. The Germans are very strict in everything what they do. So they try to be the best in being environmental friendly and they try to be the best in, in the waste management and so on. And so uh, we are very strict also in following up regulations with inventing new products and combining new materials. And that's an argument why we go to Wellburger and even they communicate in advance where the train is going. So we have also some kind of a vision, but we tell our clients where we see the next five years of development. The business is still evolving. It was uh, also over the past. We started with uh, varnishing packaging with special barrier coatings already in the in the 90s at the beginning and some things involve change some things come back and it also will be in the future like that uh, we do a special packaging brochures for brand owners and the products are very interesting. Well, that's the glass bowl question. But where we're going to is in these times, if you look what happens the last five to 10 years, we have a big turnaround in new things, new regulations, new challenges. We have uh, the digitalization, which is really having a big impact on our business, to be honest. So we lose products and other products are coming back. We're doing more and more greeting cards, for example, which were made in China a long time, many years ago and there are coming products back and it's going to what I see is uh, the specialty of print is that you can touch it and it has to be a high level product regarding what you put on it and the materials you take the board or the paper and so on and if this combination is is a good choice and we can add with our technology a value to it I think in this niche, which we are in for more than a hundred years now, I think there is a future in it. Maybe it's the, the cake is getting smaller, but in our structure as a small family company, we are fl very flexible, we can react and we also can pick up new ideas very quickly and put them also into real products and production.